Hey, I'll ask you something. How are you dealing with disappointment in your life? And uh, Stacy and I were talking about this last night. And, uh, you know, disappointment is one of those things we all have and deal with. We were discussing, you know, things that we're disappointed about. If we haven't dealt with them, they tend to really sour our lives. And I was reminded of a verse. I'll read the verse here a minute to you. And um, it's Ephesians 4.29. It says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up, that it may benefit those who listen. And, you know, when we don't deal with disappointment correctly in our life, I find the major thing it affects is my mouth. And that is where the critical spirit starts to rise up. And we were just talking about things that we've been disappointed about in, in our lives and realizing that, you know, some stuff, some stuff can go back years. And it's amazing how we can get stuck when we don't deal with disappointment and put it into grace and forgiveness. We can be just stuck uh, being disappointed in our, our workplaces, with our bosses, in our church, in relationships, in marriage, uh, with equipment. You, could, you may be disappointed with a brand and have been because it goes all the way back to a disappointing time of expectation. And you keep carrying that. And it affects our speech so much at times. If that brand or company comes up, we jump right in and, and offer what our disappointment was with that. It's so fresh right there. Or a person or situation. And it's amazing how self-prophesying we can even become in this situation. Where we will even set that person up or that company up or whatever for that same disappointment. Or we don't expect to get past that. And we won't move past it in grace and forgiveness. And it makes it really hard to live out that verse. To not let unwholesome talk flow right out of my mouth. When I'm talking or that subject comes up. And the only way to get successful with that. Letting the Lord live me that. Let me live that verse out. Is to deal with my disappointment correctly in life. How are you dealing with your disappointment? You've got something you really need to move into, the grace and forgiveness column today. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.